Hey, fellas, how's it going today? We're talking about how to level up your erections because, I mean, I've gone through this whole process. If you've heard me before in this channel talking about how I went through my went through, where I basically went all the way down to a five on a scale of one to 10 in terms of my, you know, ability to get up and get things done. Uh, but I got up all the way to a seven and I plateaued. It was like, how do I get to an eight, nine, and 10? Well, today I'm gonna to break down what that is that you need to do. Because if you aren't able to get erections on demand, then uh, we're gonna fix that today. I'm gonna to break down four causes that you may be overlooking and never heard of, never thought of. That's because this is what we do around here. And hey, this is Brian, AKA Uncle B, and for the last 25 years, I've been a men's performance coach with Goodwood, formerly known as African Fly. And today we're gonna to talk specifically about being turned on, what season it is, the immediate effects of eating, and we're gonna talk about what is your sexual stress level. And if you stay tuned till the end, I got a little bonus for you. And I have to give a quick shout out to Captain Chaos and Damon Wallace down there in the comment sections. Uh, way to, you know, take care of that diet with that oatmeal, sir. Keep going. And of course, if you like what you hear, go ahead, hit that like button, that subscribe button, that notification bell so we can get some more of this information to you. And what I'm gonna do, you know how we get down, break this down till it cannot be broken anymore. So like I was saying earlier, on that sexual performance scale, that scale of one to 10, 10 means everything works, one means you need to go to the hospital, five, six, and seven, you're basically unreliable. So I got there to that seven, but I couldn't break through to the eight and nine for a long time. It was like, well, what's going on? But then, huh, got to the research. And so the first thing on our list is basically, uh, are you turned on? Well, I had to think about it. It was like this, I went from you know, University of Maryland, I'm in college, surrounded by women, you know, I was also at Howard University, surrounded by women, and then I got into the workforce, surrounded by middle-aged moms talking about daycare and soccer games. How's that 401k going? Ain't nothing sexy about that. So you have to ask the question, what is your social sex setting? Are you saying anything that's turning you on anymore? Are you into conversations? Are you seeing something that's turning you on? What is going on with just what's around you? And guys, I'm not talking about porn. I'm talking about actual real life humans, women, you're just looking at, ooh, ooh, look at that. Are you even thinking about sex? Are you like planning a romantic trip and thinking about what you would be doing? I mean, your testosterone can be driven up by what you're thinking about, what you're stimulated by. And of course, that question is, uh, what are you doing to turn someone else on? Are you taking care of yourself? Are you listening to these videos? Are you doing the things I say to do? Because it works. And this is one, I actually did an article in Huffington Post that talked about mm, what season <laughs> what is the season? Men's hormones are cyclical, like the seasons, for a couple of reasons. During the spring and summertime, our testosterone levels are just naturally gonna go up. Why is that? Well, during that time, well, you're getting more sun, that vitamin D, well, and, you know, you got less clothing on, and so you're seeing some, you know, some things that you may like. Getting that fresh air and doing activities outside, all of that's gonna help with your testosterone. Now, during the fall and the winter, the opposite is true. Your testosterone levels sort of cycle down, you know, because you're getting less sun, there's less activities, you're seeing less flesh. And of course, I mean, this depends on where you live, but yeah, it's the rainy season, it's the snowy season. You're just not out and about and getting that extra sun like you did during the summer in the spring. In fact, me personally, when it hits about October, I noticed this from back in high school, October, I would just go into like a little state of depression. I was trying to figure out, you know, was it because of school and all of a sudden taking quizzes and tests? What's going on? Yeah, there's less sun. I wasn't outside as much. I mean, I was surrounded by more women, but mm, the other thing is also true too. I had more stress. And speaking of stress, what is your sexual stress level? Because if you're at an eight, you're good at managing your stress. And think about it. Stress can actually come with good things too. So you got a new job, but now you got a new learning curve. You got to change up your schedule. There's a bunch of things that just happen with that. Even going on vacation, you got to do the planning. Then you have to be on time for the airplane and you got to get searched and all this other kind of stuff. There's levels of stress to that. But you want to be able to separate outside stress and sexual stress. Because if you're stressing, then you're not bringing your sexual performance A game. So you have to ask some basic questions. Are you making yourself self-conscious you're just thinking like "Ooh, there she is let me I'm thinking about me I'm thinking about my erections I'm thinking too much are you actually excited 
You ready to go? Do you have past memories popping up? Um, are they good memories or bad memories? You want to go with the good ones. And of course, is she stressing you out? <laughs> yeah, there's some situations where, mm, yeah, you, you, you want to make love, but oh God. Yeah, that. Yeah, you don't want that to happen either. And all of this because stress increases cortisol and cortisol is the enemy of testosterone. It's gonna lower it, it's gonna lower your drive. So one quick exercise to do is what's called a cape walk. It's literally standing there like Superman. Just pretending you have a cape and just either walking around or you can just sit down or you can stand up, whatever it is. But when you expand yourself like any animal that's in a fight, They'll expand themselves. They'll look, make themselves look bigger. You actually drive up your testosterone just from doing that. And this is some Harvard research. I didn't make this up myself. And of course, just go back in your mind and just remember that good performance that you had. Keep that one in mind. And of course, as always, you have to take care of your body now so it can take care of your pleasure later on. And we have to talk about what you eat because that has a direct effect and almost immediate effects on your sexual performance. So the first thing is alcohol. Alcohol is a poison that happens to make you feel woozy and typically it has a lot of sugar in it and it's going to lower your testosterone levels almost immediately. Beer is estrogen laden. That's the reason why you have a beer belly. That's just a lot of whole lot of estrogen holding that fat there. And remember, of course, that sugar drops your testosterone levels for a half an hour, basically when you're younger, but as you get older, it's gonna lower it even more. Meat is also gonna make your blood thicker so it's not flowing through your body as it should. And of course, just eating right before sex. Yeah, you know how they say don't eat before you go swimming? Well, you don't eat right before you have sex because your performance is not going to be as good. And of course, eating fruits and vegetables, that's going to help everything with your system boost you up. Now, uh, we got like a good over 400 videos talking about foods and other things. So that's the reason why you should subscribe. And um, yeah, yeah, check out the other videos. Now, here's that bonus I was talking about. It's a real easy one. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> fun with sex that's what it's it's there for it's for pleasure it's it actually relaxes you so yeah make fun out of it have a good time so guys if you're trying to get that erection on demand level where you're at eight to ten you have to pay attention to how often you're turned on so you can get that testosterone popping also pay attention to the time of the year hey when it gets to the fall and the winter you may want to up your level of good wood or good wood advanced check out below and of course, remember, what you eat has an immediate effect on you. So if you've ever had a bad performance, just sort of go back and think about what you ate right before and actually up to a few days before. And of course, avoid that stress. Make a stress plan, a plan to get rid of stress and start knocking that sucker off. So question of the day, have you noticed a change in your sexual activity based upon that time of the year? Go ahead and hit me up in the comment section below. And of course, if you have any other questions, we're going to get to that too. And yes, yeah, somebody asked about a juicer causing cancer. I have to research that one, bruh. Never heard of that one. And as always, if you like what you heard, go ahead and hit that like button, the subscribe button, that notification bell, so we can get some more of this information to you. And this is Uncle B saying, get your game up and go hard. Peace out.